Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change a timer on your washer. The timer controls all of the functions on your washer, and if it fails, it may not advance from cycle to cycle, or it may not work at all. It's a really easy job to change. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the washer. So unplug it. Then we'll also need to pull it far enough forward that we can access the back of the control panel. Now that we have access to the back of the washer, our next step will be to remove these three quarter inch hex head screws. And they secure the control panel to this metal bracket. Now with the screws removed, we're next going to just tilt that control panel forward and we're going to slide it when we're facing it from the back to the left. You may need to tilt it a little bit Free, and then it will slide and then you can lift it out of the slotted openings on the top panel. Now next we'll also need to remove the control knob so pull it out and you'll note that there is a retaining clip in behind. So with a pair of needle nose pliers just go to the open end of that clip and just push it away from the edge of the knob, and then reach in with our needle nose pliers and pull it completely out. And slide the knob off, and the knob skirt, and we'll set those aside. Then we'll lay the console on its face. Peel back that protective cover, and that will expose the wire harness connector. We'll squeeze that released head, and pull the harness off of the timer. Then next we have a 5 16 screw that is located on the front end of that timer. We'll just remove that. We'll just lift up slightly where we remove that screw, give it a little turn clockwise, disengage it, and then we can lift it away. Take our new timer, put the shaft through the opening, we're going to line up these two tabs with the two tabs on the back of the control panel. Rotate it counterclockwise so it locks in place. We'll reinstall that 5 16 retaining screw. And the wire harness. Now we'll tilt that console back up into position and we're going to line up these three tabs on the bottom of the console with the three slotted openings on the back of that main top. So fit those down into those openings and we'll slide it sideways until it engages. sure that it fits out over the lip of the end panels and then tilt it back down into position. You can now reinstall the knob skirt. You'll note that there is a little index tab. Line that up with the opening on the front of the timer. There'll be a notch on the hub of that timer shaft. Press it in flush. Now next, we'll take the knob and you'll note that there is two slots on either side of that. We'll take that retaining clip, 
to fit it over those slots. And if we just push it on about that far, slide the knob onto the shaft, and we'll reach in with our pliers and just push that clip the remainder of the way on. And that will engage the timer shaft. And now we can put the screws into the back panel. So just make sure that the console is tight up against that back panel. And then reinstall the retaining screws. And now we can push the washer back into place. We're now ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete.